James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 18th, 2023, 5 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had another fairly long-term M flare. Noah's calling it an M2.13. NASA's calling it an M2.15. You'll see here that it lasted over an hour, close to an hour and a half, if not longer. It stayed in M territory. Now we're going to find out more about this latest explosion and possible coronal mass ejection. However, before we go any further, I'd like to announce that we're still under a proton storm. This is a polar cap event, and we have radiation pushing through the holes in our northern and southern poles, and my guess is the aurora borealis will be incredible this evening. We'll take a look at that polar cap event shortly as well. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms, we can clearly see where the blast came from. You can see it right here. That is going to be a new sunspot, sunspot AR3376. And we can see it looks like there was a solar tsunami perhaps associated with that blast. Now, no coronal mass ejection has been confirmed during our 9 p.m. update. We'll have more information about that, but let's take a look at this polar cap event. Heading over to our D region absorption prediction center, we see the polar cap event here, and we're going to move forward and see that it's really stronger in the North Pole. And it's on and off. They said it could last for days. That tells me that the solar flare was much stronger than they indicated. We're going to move forward until we get to the time period of this M flare that just occurred. You can see that polar cap event is ongoing and now strengthening again. And I'm guessing that this M flare will reinforce it. And we can clearly see the South Pole polar cap event being reinforced by this latest M flare here. It wasn't as strong as yesterday's flare, but look at the radio alternation with the M flare combined with the polar cap event. I've been told that they're seeing Aurora Borealis on the equator, ladies and gentlemen. Taking a look at these sunspots, we can see AR3376 right here. We have AR3372 that's been active and is very complex. We also have AR3373 that looks like it's becoming much more complex while some of the sunspots are actually going around the limb by AR3363, which is the cause of the M5 flare, or so they said yesterday. And I'm sure we'll see the end of AR3375 by day's end. AR3371 has dissipated. AR3374 has dissipated. And we have a new named sunspot, AR3374. 3377 has just been named that also looks magnetically complex and we can consider it in play as of now. With that said, we've had another M flare while we're in a polar cap event and a proton storm. Please join us at 9 p.m. Central for a space weather update live and we'll get you the latest information at that time. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.